Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. I just wanted to put up a really quick tip on how to create UDIMs in Houdini and then bring that over into Substance Painter and use the UDIMs since that is a, a recent update in Substance Painter and I was looking on YouTube, I didn't really see anything. So this is just gonna be a really quick video. We're gonna jump in and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So let's jump over into um, Houdini. So, so here's a file and in here we just want to uh, double click and go into our file. Now, one of the first things I like to do is actually use a um, attribute delete. And then in here, I just put the UVs, just if it's a new object, just in case um, it has UVs built. So if I look at the file over here on our UV view, we can see it has some. So I just wanna start clean. So I just deleted those UVs right there. And um, you can preview your UVs by using a uh, UV quick shade. So if I turn this on, you'll be able to see your UVs and whatever you plug this into, you'll be able to see the UVs. So this is our previous UVs and then we deleted them. So it's kind of just giving us that. So um, we're going to be using pretty much besides the attribute delete, we're just going to use two nodes because everything else I saw, there was like multiple ways to do layout these UDIMs. This is just super quick. I'm just going to show you super easy. We need a UV um, unwrap. So I'm just gonna create a UV unwrap and we're gonna plug this in right here. So obviously if you're just looking at it, you don't see anything, but if we go right here, we can start seeing what's happening um, with our UV. So it's it's uh, creating them. So this was before, we're just doing it all over and now it's right here. So we have to specify how we want this to be unwrapped. And if you have multiple objects, you can come in here and there should be a list of objects. So I can come in here and start um, adding in different objects. And as I do, you'll see the UVs on this side start to appear because we're looking at the UV view. So the first thing you need to do is unwrap your UVs. So you just go through and do this. So let me show you um, what I did on my project. So I'm just gonna come here and do the full screen. So my project, I did a lot of unwrapping because I wanted to unwrap all of these objects individually. So if I scroll down, you'll see I had all these unwraps that I created for individual objects in my scene. And then it brings us down to here. Just to preview this, and we'll plug this in so we can see it. And let's go look at the view. Okay, so there it is. But we see over here that they're all just stacked up into one tile. And if you know UDIMs, you wanna be able to use uh, more space out here. So you wanna separate each of those UVs into different squares. So um, first I always throw just a material on so it helps uh, substance recognize it. So I just threw on a material, it doesn't matter what it looks like, just threw one on. And this is the next thing you need to do is this UV layout. So this is how we get our UDIMs. And it's very simple. So I'm just gonna come over here and do a UV uh, layout and I'm gonna plug it in we'll take a look and see what's going on. Right now, it just organized it into that one square. So we need to um, give it the correct parameters so it knows exactly how to handle this. And the way you do it is you come in the packing style and you do fixed. So now we can see if I zoom out right here, you'll see it's now it changed uh, the way these are being laid out. And then we need to come in and we need to change this from rectangles to UDIM tiles. And it's just gonna take a sec, and then there you go. So now we're getting our UDIMs set up the way we want. So, but you can change the way these are tiled over here. So if I change this number, they're gonna change the columns and how we organize um, these. So then you just wanna write this out. So write out your object. So save a name, write it out and then we'll go over into substance. All right, so here we are in substance and the way we wanna set this up is go new, come over here and select our file. So I know it's this one right here. And then we wanna change, I like to change mine, um, I will leave it here to um, 1024. And then here's the new setting is this use UV tile workflow, preserve a UV tile. And we just leave that there and I just hit okay we can see that now our UVs are all laid out the way we want. And the next thing you'd need to do is you just need to hit bake 
maps. So we're going to do this. Um, it'll take one second. So bake textures. Okay, so we can see it's done. And let's take just one aug or one little smart material and throw it on there and see if it's working. So I always like to do something that has a little bit of edge wear. So we're just going to come down here and grab this one and just drag it in. And this is the cool part where it will apply it all over. And then the cool thing is about this is we can, let me just get this, move this around. Okay. We can start doing like things like brushes and we can start painting across all these different UV maps, which is super, super cool. So it makes it a lot faster and super high quality. I, I think this is an absolute awesome addition, saves a lot of time and is a lot more intuitive. There's other things you can do um, within Substance and these UDIMs. Um, there's plenty of other resources that Substance put out themselves with using UDIM masks and all this fun stuff. But I just wanna show you guys how to get those UDIMs from Houdini into Substance. So I hope you enjoy this little short tutorial and have a great day. See ya.